I have often puzzled and puzzled about what it must be like to go to sleep and never wake up, to be simply not there forever and ever. We don't have any dreams, but go to sleep, and then suddenly we're there again, and in the interim, we're nothing. And if there was never any end to that interval, if the waking up didn't happen, that's such a curious.
Every point in the past and every point in the future are just as real as the point of time you feel yourself in right now. Einstein believed that literally. One of his best friends died and he wrote a letter to this person's wife talking about how his friend still exists. Time is a landscape. And if you had the right perspective on the universe, you would see all of it laid out in front of you. All past, present, and future as a whole thing. He's still there. We can't see him where we are now. But we are on this landscape with him. He still exists just as much as he ever has. Einstein believed that you right now had been dead for trillions of years. That you haven't been born yet. That everything that's happened to you, if you could get the right perspective on the universe, you could see all at once.
And one of the reasons why I think thinking about not being, about total non-existence, is so creative, is that in comparison with that thought, the fact that we are seems kind of queer, incredibly odd.
death is in some ways unacceptable. I mean, it's, it's just an astonishing fact of our being here, that we die, but I think worse than that is that if we, if we live long enough, we lose everyone we love in this world. I mean, do people die and disappear, and we are, we are left with this stark mystery, the sheer not knowing of what happened to them.
Elles étaient toutes vivantes quand la photo a été prise. Il allait me dire après ça que le concept du martyr est une invention des religieux. On a tout essayé, même les enfants. Il se trouve que les femmes sont plus sensibles à la transfiguration. Les femmes jeunes. C'est comme ça, mademoiselle. exactly the equivalent of somebody else being born. Because we have no consciousness of our continuity unless we have memory. If the memory goes, then we might just as well be somebody else.
Sometimes I want to meet you when the sun is past its curfew So the hands can have the conversation and say more than words do yeah. Crack the window, let that evening in And let the freezing wind trace the place between the skin Let's feel that heat again Navigate that pain of God has got some X's on your map I'll find the places they ain't plotted Let the neighbors gossip Let's forget the boss is thin Move until the moon is gone and gone And do it all again Now can you keep a secret? Keep a secret till you want it like I want it Till you need it like I need it And my water on your beaches Almost every time you feverish There's a drum beneath the chest And these fingers follow the sequence So speak low when you speak love We all gotta stand alone No missing piece to complete us Cause we just some broken kids Trying to fight the loneliness We never said forever Once we learn forever don't exist set of memories vanishes. Death is not the end of consciousness.
kind of fantasy. If we think of death as endless darkness, endless nothingness is not only inconceivable, but it's logically absolutely meaningless. Because we aren't able to have any idea, much less sensation of nothing, unless it can be compared with a sensation of something. These two things go together.
passage à vide. Le désir fugitif et poignant de ne plus entendre, de ne plus voir, de rester silencieux et immobile. Les rêves insensés de solitude, amnésiques errants aux pays aveugles, rues larges et vides, lumière froide, visages muets sur lesquels glisserait ton regard.
if you're aware that you're going to die and that the other person is going to die and that you're both going to lose everyone you love and you don't know when you've got this moment of life this beautiful moment this moment where your consciousness is bright where it's not dimmed by morphine in the hospital on your last day among the living and the sun is out or it's raining both are beautiful this is your life the only one you've got and you will never get this moment back again and you don't know how many more moments you have
cartoon created by the disappearance of a being, by the disappearance of his memories, is simply filled by another being, who is I, just as you feel you are I. The funny thing though about being I, about feeling that one is sort of a center of the universe, is that you can only experience this eye sensation in the singular. You can't experience being two or three eyes all at the same time.
lot of water under the bridge. Sound of the old
seem to be disconnected and entirely sealed within our skin. That is a very deceptive thing because the skin is not really the boundary of man.
bigger than offering immortality or the afterlife. We are all aware that death is real because we see it all around us. 100 billion people have lived before us. They're all gone. Not one of them has come back. And yet, you can't conceive of what it's like to be dead. Because if I asked you, picture yourself dead. What do you see?
whatever you do, however seemingly ordinary, you can feel the preciousness of life and an awareness of death is the doorway into that way of being in the world. immortality are within reach already in Silicon Valley. There are companies which, for a price, will digitize everything known about you. Your credit card transactions, your emails, Instagrams, everything known about you can be digitized. And we have something called the Connectome Project, which will map the pathways of the entire human brain. All your memories, all your quirks, personalities, everything digitized and we'll put it on a disc and for the most part we'll put it in a library today you go to the library and you take a book out about winston churchill in the future you'll go to the library and talk to winston churchill because all his speeches his mannerisms his memories his letters have been digitized i would love 
to talk to Einstein. I would love to talk to him, even if it's a computer program that has digitized everything known about him, his work, his writings, his speeches, everything, and a holographic image so that I can talk to him. And one day, we might be digitized as well. We'll be able to talk to our great, 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 great grandkids, and they'll be able to talk to their great, 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 great ancestors as well, because we become immortal.